Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how we can connect to Ubuntu Linux that's running on our VirtualBox as a VM. And we'll be using PuTTY, which is a tool that allows us to use SSH to remotely connect to the virtual machine. Now we'll need to install PuTTY, which is a free tool. So we'll open our browser and search for PuTTY download. Then we'll go to PuTTY.org. Once we get to the page, we'll click on we'll click on download party, and then we want the uh, I'm gonna install the 64-bit. This is the installer for Windows, so I'm gonna click on this. Uh, it's already done, so I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna go to uh, downloads folder, and there it is. So I already had already installed it before. Let me go ahead and delete this. Now, once you have it downloaded, double click on it to install it. Uh, I'll click on next here. This is where it's gonna install it. I'll click on next. And this one is also going to install PuttyGen, which allows us to generate PPK keys for remote connections also. So I'm going to go with these options and click install. And this should be a quick install. I'll click yes. And uncheck this. I'll click finish. So we should have Putty installed on our Windows machine. And this is the tool right here. I'm going to go ahead and like, change the font size on the default session. So I'll click on this and go to appearance. Click on change here. Go to 16. I'll click OK. Session save. And let me go ahead and uh, close this for now. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that the, the settings for our virtual machine is using the bridge adapter option. So under your VirtualBox manager, the settings for the machine, if you go to settings, you wanna make sure under network, you're using bridge adapter. This way we can access this virtual machine from any machine on our local network. I already have mine set to bridge to bridge the adapter, so I'm not gonna change it. I'm just gonna cancel this and minimize this. Now we need to check the IP address because we need the IP address to input into the party application. So open the terminal and then use the IP address command, IP address. And this gives me the IP, which is right here, 172.16.1.101. Now that I have the IP, I can check if it's reachable from the Windows machine that I'm gonna be using party on. So I'm gonna open a, PowerShell, and then I'll do ping, and I'm gonna ping that IP, which was 172.16.111. That's the IP right there, and I can I can ping it. That means it's reachable. The last thing we need to check is SSH. We need to make sure that SSH is enabled before we can try to connect, because if SSH is not enabled, you're not gonna be able to connect to it. Now, the command to check the status of SSH is a system CTL status SSH. It's saying that SSH services could not be found. So in this case, we'll need to install SSH. The command for do, doing the installation, let's clear this, is gonna be sudo apt install open SSH server, put in our password, press Y, okay, now let's clear this again and repeat the system CTL status SSH. So now we have SSH showing that it's active, running, server listening on port 22. Okay, uh, let me open another terminal here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna check the logs. I'm gonna use journal CTL, so I'm gonna type journal CTL F for refresh. And we'll see what happens when we try to connect. So we are seeing that already that the same logs we saw on SSH are showing here, the port it's listening on, 22. 
and the services are running or the services started. So now that we have SSH running, we can go and open party again and input the IP address. Okay, the IP address was, go back here, IP address. On 72.16, And it's using, we are using SSH on port 22. Let me look at the logs. Let's go ahead and connect by clicking on open. And this is what you're going to get. The first time you log into a server or Linux machine, it's going to tell you that the, uh, the host key is not cached. So it's going to ask you if you trust this machine. Now, in this case, I do trust it. I'm going to click accept. And I'm presented with this console, the login console. Here, I need to put in my username and password. and I'm able to log in. And as we saw here, it accepted the password for user Eno, and this is the source IP address that the user Eno is connecting from, 172.16.1.11. So the source IP that the user Eno connected from is 172.16.1.11. So this allows us to Troubleshoot, you can look at the logs. If, for instance, you put in a, a wrong password, you'll see the logs are gonna show. Now, another place you can check the logs as far as logging is concerned is on um, the outdoor log file, which is located under the var slash log. So, if I open another terminal here and do see var log, so this is the file that shows us log messages also. So we can say tail uh, var log, and then here we can do auth.log. Then showing us the same log messages here, accepted password from Eno from this IP. And also shows us when we started the SSH server, and shows us what port it's listening on. And if we disconnect, it should also show us that. So if we click W, you can see saying where I'm connecting from, the IP here. Now, if I did exit, it's going to tell me there's a session 4 logged out. So this one, you need to rerun the command again, which also shows you that session 4 was closed. That's all for this video. I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.